You know that people of Israel are delivered, and then comes the word. That's a process. There needs to be deliverance before there is a vessel to receive the word. Before we hear the word. Before we live the word. But there has to be deliverance first. I could preach Torah all day long. And I could talk the word of God all day long. But there's not been deliverance. There's not been broken strongholds. The chains have not been broken. You will not hear it. There will be no Shema. And 
there is only a remnant of people that are going to be able to pass the muster. Because we can say Yeshua all day long, but if it's not recognized in our fruit or in our lifestyle, there is no Yeshua. Because the word says you can speak with your mouth, confess with your mouth. <laughs> There's another part to that. It's believe in your heart. Believe in your heart. Believe. Now, how do we know you believe? Well, there's a whole different attitude towards the Lord. There's a whole ser different seriousness. There is a healthy fear of the Lord. Many of us had fathers. They were not. Some were abusive. Some were. And I understand that. But those of you had a good father, nevertheless, there was a healthy fear. There was a, there was a healthy fear of death. How many of us are heard, wait till your father gets home? <laughs> right? Well, wait before you stand before the Father. That's how you should feel. So you better be hoping that you are forgiven. And you better be hoping that your heart is right before Him. Thank you. 
You don't have to figure it out. He's already figured it out for us. Don't you see? Yeshua figured it all out for you. All you have to do is follow him. Watch what he does. Watch what he does. That's what they did with Paul all the time of the end. They followed Paul. Do as I do, he said. It's not complicated. Sure, do as he does. Think as he thinks. Act as he acts. Feel as he feels. Do as he, as he did. He lived without any thought for himself. He lived to honor his father. He lived to bless each of you. That's what he did. That's what we should do. Amen. Amen. Go meet your neighbors this morning. Shabbat shalom.
couple of my warriors, but we're going to make sure that we keep her in prayer. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, this sure. world, everybody knows, it's gotten a little crazy. Yeah. So, and she's a beautiful girl. Let's make sure we hold her up in that family as well. Because it takes a lot of strength to serve like that. It takes a lot of fortitude. Yes. So, yes. I have to do a shout out to my girl, Allison Gallagher. Whoa, whoa. Right. <laughs> no matter what I ask, my Tuesday nights when I'm here, are, you know, doing some crazy project or another, my Allison shows up. She drags those babies with her. We pop in movies for them and we get busy. And we've gotten the front, it's a library slash cry room. Um, the Facebook feed is going to be in there. It's in there now. There's a big TV on the wall now. Um, we're asking for any donations of faith-based books that you would like to see adorn our shelves. Because we've got a whole wall of bookshelves. Um, we've already had the, the entire Talmud is in there now. Um, so, and there's a bunch of books in there as well. So please, go in and help yourself. I mean, whatever you see in there, you know, obviously, you're blessed. You're blessed with it. Um, but there's a changing table in there. There's a glider rocker. And there's a little love seat. So um, for all those babies that we've got, we seem to be prolific in babies around here, <laughs> which I'm a big fan of, so i got to say. Um, yes, and speaking of babies, our Carltons are here. Yay! Ruby Shaw, Annabella Marie is present and accounted for. Annabella. 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 Yep. And... Uh, she is just, she is needing me to smooch her a lot. It's important. Yes. Yes. So we've got a lot of big things coming up. Um, the congregational, the semi-annual meeting that we, we do twice a year. Um, it's coming again. No, it's kind of crazy. That's going to be Saturday, February 2nd. It'll be after Oneg. Um, we'll meet in here, right? Or will we do it? Okay. No, we might do it. We might do it in the Oneg building. Um, anybody is more than welcome to come because we go over everything that we've done, our plans for the future, you know, what we're going to kind of hope to accomplish uh, going forward. So, and finances and all that good stuff. We like to make sure that we're very transparent around here. We, might, we want to make sure that you know exactly what we're doing um, and where everything is going. So that's February 2nd and then February 9th. Jaden James Euler will be celebrating his bar mitzvah. Amen. Now he has let it be known that his worship leader is going to be Ted Pierce, which is a huge blessing. So um, we got him before he went on his servant's tour. Um, so Ted will be here. Um, Jaden's very excited about that. And, you know, he might even do a little concert later on in the day. We haven't kind of worked out those details, but we do know that Jaden will be called to the bar mitzvah, or called to the Torahs of our mitzvah on February 9th. So, I, invitations went out today. We had a lot of them that went out in the mail this past week. So, if you didn't get one, it is an open invitation for our congregation. So, we'll make sure we've got chairs in the group. Huh? Or friends of the congregation. Um, Ariel's was a beautiful thing, and, and so is Abby's, and we're going to have our third in this building uh, that we're so blessed with. So we will be getting busy with that um, because right after that, we'll be heading into our Pesach celebration. Yeah, three months. Three months. Three short, fast months. It's insane. It's insane. So um, we'll start doing our Tuesday ladies nights with flower arrangements and uh, painting the, the plates again, and we'll make sure that it's going to be just as beautiful as it was last year. Linda's got a brainstorm. Um, she's got a top last year. That dance was incredible. <laughs> no pressure. So, absolutely. So we've got, oh gosh, a lot. The icers, um, obviously we need to keep them in prayer. They've got their house uh, all packed up and ready to go, but they haven't closed yet. Things keep getting delayed. So, obviously, there are speed bumps in their path that are putting a lot of stress on them. So, let's make sure we keep them. Um, if everything goes smoothly, they are really hoping to move next weekend. So, we're going to need as many manly men to help us unload them um, next, probably next Sunday, as we possibly can. 
So um, we will give you more information as things firm up and we get concrete plans for them. Um, we're going to keep Mary Lou Bendroff, our Mary Lou. She's a bastion of strength, but boy, she is going to attack. And it's hard for her to get out and about in any way. So I'm sure she would appreciate any prayers that you could send her way. And uh, she lives right down by the, on 21st Street. Yeah. So if anybody feels the need to go to a visit, I'd love to be there as often as I can. I'm a, I'm a little busy. So we will make sure we keep her in prayer. There's so many lost sheep of the star in the east. Let's keep them in prayer as well. Yeah. Um, our Facebook is up and live. So obviously for days like this, where we've got snow after snow after snow, we want to make sure that, you know, everybody knows that you are always in our thoughts even if you're not here. And if you're you're not here, you're we hope you're blessed. And if you are here, then we know we are blessed. So we want to make sure we spread that around. Right? I think that's it. Amen. Amen. Shabbat shalom. Oh.